Good morning. Good, beautiful morning. It's all right. It's quite all right today. It's nice and warm. Don't get me wrong, the sun ain't shining out. Got the ducks out. Jemima and... What's Dan called the other one? I can't remember. Is it Jeremy? <laughs> I'm not sure. So having a bit of a tidy up in here. Or oh, I have. Bit of a sweep out. Uh, Dan's now gone down to take the bike. So the bike's gone. And the lounger's gone. So all that we're actually left with now. A Jackery solar panel went this morning. All we're left with now is one Jackery solar panel. Uh, this big TV projector screen and the hair trimmer so if anyone's interested on campsite just pop over and, and say hello and pick it up you're more than welcome to so that was quite a good uh, productive clear out so to say and we've helped many so that's been good yes yeah, so Dan's not here at the minute <clears throat> he's gone down to get rid of the bike and apparently he got a little bit of a told off this morning. We'll wait till he gets back and um, he can talk about that. I've also just finished clean, cleaning out the toilet cassette hole. I think Dan's got to do the actual cassettes today because uh, we're getting the part today. And actually that should have been here last night. So I don't know where that is at the minute, but it should be here today. Um, but one of our toilets are a bit dodgy when it goes in and out of the cassette. So I said to Dan, when he cleans the toilets out, clean this one particularly properly and i'm gonna have to get my hand in and give it a go because i can't wait afford to waste 150 quids worth of a toilet cassette just because it's sort of playing up i want to try and see if we can fix these these aren't that old these toilets so uh, yeah so let's hope he can clean that up as much as he can so i can get my hands into that so yeah i've got a great day ahead of me today i've already cleaned out toilet holes yeah great <laughs> So talking about stuff that we're giving away. Now, this isn't ready to give away yet. I'm not sure anyway. I haven't really spoke to Dan. But will be actually the Eco Fridge Freezer over there. So th there is some kind of a problem with that. Um, it's, I don't know what it is. You'll have to ask Dan when he comes back if he, if he, if he wants to even mention it. Um, but I don't know if he also wants to get the summer out of it for the use on that just to keep his beers cool first anyway so but yeah that's going to be up for grabs next anyway so apart from all that things are looking all organized we did have pizza last night which was scrummy a bit of a treat for me if anyone knows that I've been kind of watching what I eat so that was a bit of a treat for me um, we had pizza we had wedges we had a wrap each couldn't finish the wraps um dan's got half a wrap today so that'll be dinner today half a wrap left in the fridge a couple of slices of pizza and some potato wedges so i'm just going to reheat all that maybe take the meat out of the wrap and fry it up or put it in the air fryer and he can just have it with his potatoes or whatever or dumped on the pizza we did actually get our two ink cartridges yesterday i think this was yesterday for our um printer but we bit the bullet and we've gone for the um, inkless printer now. The um, thermal, is it a thermal printer? I don't know. So yeah, looking forward to getting that today. Giving that a test out. So Dan should be back in a minute, but he hasn't actually cleaned his bird water out today. He's done the food. So let's go and give that a clean for him. It was probably because the ducks were in there. He'll probably want to move it all now as well. Look at the state it gets just overnight, look. That's mad. Yeah, gosh. I don't know if he just tips it on the floor or not. I don't know what he does. But that's all I'm doing. Oh, here he comes. He might want this moved, actually. Good morning. Hello. Did you want this bit moved? This what? Do you want this moved? Yeah, please. Where to? Wherever you like. Yeah? I'll well, fill that up. Uh... Yeah, I've told him everything. Yeah, but they also want the bench cover. Oh, cool. I about that. Yeah, I forgot about that, actually. Yeah. 
And that's good. That's gone to a good eye. So I suppose I'm going to have to move all this food and stuff now. I'm not. I'm not moving that bird table there though. Well, that's funny. I just noticed this. Look. <clears throat> So Dan put the windmill, or did he put the windmill in the hole? I don't know, I didn't watch him when he did that. Or have they come up fire, the windmill? I'll have to ask him. One more job that I have to do today. Well, I don't have to, but I want to because they're disgusting. It's these chairs. So I've just cleared out my pocket. I'm going to start with mine. I can only do one at a time because we've only got one spare chair. So this all needs washing, hand washing. So I'll probably do that on the Mazzy channel, but let's go and get this out. It's just grotty, it's it's grimy on the arms. A bit of mould in there where it's just sitting out in the awning all the time. And it's just grotty, yellow and grotty. Um, you can see a bit of mould there on Dan's one. Oh, and there actually. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that limb marks out of it because, <clears throat> um, they could have eaten into the material for all I know. So I'll just do this here. It smells like something's died along here. I keep telling Dan that this morning. I have no idea what it is. Drake, that's his name. I called him Jeremy. Drake, Mr. Drake, Francis Drake. <laughs> it's just started raining. Dan's got to do toilets. I'm sure, not, I'm sure I can. Wait. I was going to say I'm sure it can wait for a minute. <laughs> Got me eco flow chair out it's actually really comfy it's comfier than the old one so what happened to you this morning i was telling everyone you got something to tell everybody i think you got a little bit told off told off yeah no by the campsite warden no i wasn't told off no no i saw him again down in the office and he was just saying, I wish you hadn't put that on the video last night about me admitting that you are the chess champion. And I cheated. Um, I admit that I did cheat. Um, but I didn't really want you to put it out there and let everyone know I've admitted that I cheated. Oh. Something like that. And he's challenged you for, he said 2024 game is coming up very soon, didn't he? Apparently the chess championships final is coming up yeah yeah now not sure if we'll be here or not we might be on holiday if we are it don't matter because I can still I can do like a whatsapp video call and yeah. play from that I can do it online so I don't have to be there you can still win this babe oh I'll, I'll win it I am the champion after all I've just come up with a fantastic money-making scheme for any campsite wardens out there now it's raining at the moment, yeah? One thing people don't want to do when it's raining is go and empty their toilet cassettes. It doesn't have to be just raining. Some people just might not be capable of doing it. They might be a bit elderly. It might be hard for them. Campsite wardens, if you want to make a few extra bucks, how about offering a service? I'll empty your toilet cassette for £4 when it's not raining, £5 when it's raining. I'd, you know, if that was offered, you'd be the first and only campsite warden to offer that. You'd make yourself a fortune, I reckon. And straight away, you've got a customer. Ten quid from me, empty two toilet cassettes from it, bring them back all sparkling and clean. I don't get wet, you get ten quid, everyone's a winner. Tell them about your dream. Oh, don't go into that dream. <laughs> Oh, I had the most stressful dream of my life last night. This morning, sorry. Do you do that? Because it happens to me all the time. If I wake up, go to the toilet, and then go back to bed, and it's usually about six o'clock in the morning, that's when I start dreaming, between the six o'clock and the time I get up. And I remember some of them. This one was, I promised the world basically I was going to tell the funniest joke ever known to man now you've got to understand nobody that joke doesn't exist yet because if it did <laughs> it, it would have already been out there so I had to make one up so I would told everyone I was coming up with this they were all gonna meet me I said 
I'd already thought, what I'm going to do in this joke, I'm going to have three barges on a canal. So I've got three people, hired three barges, got them all lined up at the side of the canal. Thousands of people were going to be there, all on the canal bank, for me to tell this amazing, funniest joke of all time um, the next day. But the problem was I hadn't actually come up with the joke yet. <laughs> So, for about two hours in bed, I was stressing about coming up with a funny joke, mm -hmm. the funniest joke, and I couldn't do it. Luckily, I woke up, realised it were a joke, uh, a dream, and I didn't have to come up with it, but... Yeah. You sound stressed. I was stressed. I was really stressed this morning. Good morning! Hiya. Where are you going? It's too early for holiday yet. Going on holiday, Mazzy. I know, I know. Big surprise. We're off Be to Greece. Cyprus. Cyprus. You keep saying Greece. <laughs> we're not going to Greece until four days. Five days. Yeah, but Six we've, made, days. we've made a last minute decision. Yeah. We don't have to sit in there. Yeah, why are we sitting in there? There's no reason to be here. <laughs> Let's go. Let's just go. Let's go early. <laughs> so we're going in the morning, first thing. Yeah. Not to Cyprus. <laughs> but to Birmingham, near the airport. So then we can doss around Birmingham for a bit, see what crack, what crack is down there. Never been around Birmingham. Apparently but the, up Birmingham way they do best curries. Love curries, to get a curry. Yeah, they do, don't, no, second best to Bradford. Um, so we've got to do cases, printing. Everything. On and down, everything needs doing today. This is it, this is it. Yeah, and so we ain't got to time do. to do anything in the morning, have we? No, no time at all. <laughs> Right, so where are we going to start with the cases? Know. If you do cases and put awning down, I'll go feed ducks. Hey! Get back. Go and bring them cases in there for me, please. Thank you. Here's a good lad. We have got euros. We have got pounds. We have got batteries. We've got leads. We've got a fan. You, you, you got me? All right, I'm still in my pajamas, but you got me. Is that good? No. Yeah, she's coming. Um, very, very slowly getting there. I've got football tonight. We've had as mole. Now this is a separate mole. That one there didn't come any further. It's like a little baby mole that one. But the windmill was in there, and it didn't come any further these are all new overnight and they've come from over here under the bench it's becoming a bit of a mess so I've stuck the windmill in there see if it chases it off a little bit but it's not really our problem is it because we won't be on this pitch Neil's gonna have to look after it and get rid of the mole problem that's his job isn't it so I don't have to worry about that I've got to put the awning down I'm getting stressed now, I'll be honest. Uh, my suitcase. I've put the printer in there. I don't know. I just don't know what to do anymore. I just want to be on holiday. Bags unpacked. And be drinking a pina colada next to the sea. Not that I know what a pina colada is, but hey. Things are starting to get a bit panicky now, or is it me just getting panicky? I don't know, but it's getting panicky. I've just remembered I've got to cut Dan's hair. There's no way he's going on holiday looking like that. Not that he looks a mess, but he needs a hair done. Y you do? <laughs> Forgot about it. England are on soon. Looking good. Oh, you've got loads of hair at the back of you. Yeah, looks nice, babe. We forgot about that, didn't we? I know, I know. What a last minute panic. <clears throat> um, so how are you getting on with the case? <laughs> I don't know. I won't know till I come back off the trip and know that everything went right. Yeah, I've still got last minute things to pack, unfortunately. Like makeup products and stuff. Are you not bringing your slippers, are you? No, 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 no. No. Started raining anyway, so we've um, 
What a day. What a day. I've got to put this down yet. I know. And now it's wet. So where's this all come about then? They're all wondering, aren't they? What? Why are we going so early? What's happened? Because of the weather. Yeah. It's rubbish. So Admittedly, it's sunny at this very moment, but it'll be raining within 10 minutes. It was raining 10 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, Standing off. Yeah, so we just decided sort of yesterday evening, early evening, didn't we? And I said to Neil, says, we're going to go to Birmingham for four days. Birmingham? What do you want to go to Birmingham for? He says, Coventry's all right, but Birmingham? Well, we... thing is, we like Birmingham Airport. It's quite nice. Yeah. We love the hotel next to Birmingham Airport. Yeah, Which, so unfortunately, we're only staying there for the last night. Not all five nights. Four yeah. or five nights. Um, and we loved Birmingham train station with the big bull. Yeah. And the weather spoons and everything. It was a wonder. That is the best train station I've ever known. I've never been to Birmingham. And we've never been around Birmingham. Yeah. And I don't like to sort of be judgmental until you see things for yourself anyway. No. I've been to most places, but not Birmingham. I've not been to Birmingham and I've not been to Edinburgh. So the plan actually is, if people's wondering what's going on, we're going to Birmingham, stopping in a hotel for four nights and then carrying on with our journey to how we had originally planned it. And then we're basically moving on to another hotel in Birmingham yeah. for one night and yeah. then we're getting a plane. Yeah, so it's five nights away from here basically, isn't it? And it gives us a chance to find so our what's it, Birmingham. Yeah, something <laughs> new. It's better than giving you vlogs from around here. We're really struggling for content. Even this video itself, just getting this made, is taking two, three days. Yeah. We just need to find something to excite us. And now that I've had my hair cut, I look pretty. We don't mind taking me out on the streets. <laughs> you looked pretty anyway. I didn't mean what I'm not I brown said. Brown, am I? All my tan's gone. I need to get a tan. Yeah, we will. <sighs> What's the weather in Cyprus today? Shall I find out? Yeah. What, live? I can do it live. It'll only take me a second. I don't care how. It is... In Paphos. At the moment... Well, no, that's at four o'clock, so now it's probably about 33 degrees. Oh, my gosh. That's specifically in Paphos, yeah? Yes. Oh, okay. Tomorrow... It is 32 degrees, full sun all week. That's not bad weather then, We can I can cope probably with that. Tuesday, 33 degrees, Wednesday, 34 degrees, Thursday, 35 degrees, Friday, 33 degrees, Saturday, 32. We'll be there Saturday, won't we? Or Next evening. Saturday. So our first full day there, it will be 33. But it is literally full sun, not a cloud in the sky, all week. Perfect. It's waiting until we get there, it's going to belt it down. <laughs> yeah. It was a last minute decision to go, and I did want to get this part for the toilet and fit that for you, that little cog thing. Um, we can't do that because we're going tomorrow. And for you watching, we know and we know it were you. That's all I'm going to say. Cameras, Mazzy. Cameras. Cameras. Wonderful invention. Yeah. It's amazing what you can get on a camera nowadays. Uh, have we got all this camera gear ready for his holiday? I've got all the camera gear. It's all, I'm all caught up with that. And um, We're yeah. taking two cameras again. I yeah. haven't sorted out the waterproof one. Oh. I'm going to take one so we can do underwater shots and stuff. But, don't matter, does I it? I don't even get in the water. There's no point in me pretending that I could do that. <laughs> the only reason I thought of taking that is if we do go to the Blue Lagoon... Yeah. ...and I did jump in the water, I could have got some shots. It's basically just a bit of sea where it is the bluest of the bluest of the blue sea you've ever seen in your life. That would be cool. Apparently, if it's warm, I, I would get in it. I don't know about warm, but... Apparently it is the most beautiful colour sea in the whole of Europe. Is it? Wow. 
Um, we might get to see it, but we, oh, even if I get in, I don't think I'll be... Well, I ain't got the camera out. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. But yeah, cameras. Amazing inventions. And they record as well. They can record things. You can catch things on cameras. Yeah. You know, pal. You know. So I'm just going to prepare Dan's meal for tonight. It's, I'm not preparing it. I'm just getting it in the air ready in the air fry ready to go so we're trying to use leftovers up tonight yeah beer beer yeah yeah you got your beer there's his beer right so what we what he's going to have anyway is a chicken kievs that we found in the down the bottom freezer today so got we've had those so get those in there a little bit frozen but they should be they should be all right by the time um, by the time it comes to cooking them. Um. Right, and we've also got like a little handful of chips. Tiny handful, mind. It's not a lot. So that's. I mean, it, it should be enough. And what else do we have that we could cook? He's got, got kind of sausages in there. I've got sausage rolls. And I've also got these sausages. Mmm. I think I'll leave it as that. Right, young man. We need to start making a... Um, Football a, snacks. A decision. Oh, do you want any sausages or sausage rolls cooked? Volivants. Party no, hats, there's just sausages. Sausages or sausage and sausage rolls. Yeah, everything. You want it all cooked? I want it all. Football. Like a buffet for football. Listen, we need to make a move make a start on this, darling. It's dry now. No, we really don't. Come on. I don't want to take this down. Once I've taken this down, that's end of my life. Oh, when are you taking it down then? I'm not getting involved, you do as you please then, yeah? So, we're all getting sort of tidied up now. Cases are brought in. Awnings getting a little bit emptied. Put all our jazz out. We've got to start, make a start really while it's nice weather. So that's just Dan's chair in here. So I've got to do all these up. <laughs> It's actually turned out quite warm, isn't it, babe? Oh, you didn't do the duck's water this morning. Say goodbye. What to the ducks? I'll see them next year. They'll be here when we get back. Right. I'll get out. My chair's all nice and dry, finally. Testing my chair out, darling. <laughs> I feel like we've got loads of stuff to do, but I feel like we're not doing, doing any of it. <sighs> Jump on it. <laughs> Do you want a hand, darling? It's in my chair. It's my beer. It's your chair. Football beer. He won't let me do anything. I tried doing something and he, he said, no, 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 it's my job. You can get me another beer. It's England I've just tonight. gotten you that. England, finally. <laughs> 50 years of hurt. Never stop me dreaming. Got to win something before I die. Mm. We ain't got too many competitions left. It's no time for games. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I help. Done this more times than the company themselves. Uh, you've got a peg stuck in that one there, darling. <laughs> it's 
So Dan's got um, something to help you out with the awning, darling. Save you, save you getting stressed. Yeah, it's not even helping me, is it? It's brought more <laughs> than a drink. Uh, 80 right. proof. So, in Turkey I was drinking rum, rum and corks. He's brought over proper rum. And I did say if it's over 20%, I get violent. So he's keeping his distance. <laughs> uh, because this is 80% proof, it's the proper rum. What's it called? Do we know? Oh, Arundel Jesus. Cane rum. Thing got sugar cane in it. Oh yeah, let's God. have a look. No, this is going to kill me. So you've got your sugar cane in there. That uh, horny rum. Mazzy, that's. Boxer remo of mover. What? It's equivalent of two pints in there. Mate, there's not a lot. Time. Let's have a look. It's not a lot. No, it doesn't look a lot, but it no, is. No, I know, it's yeah, I know. Proof. I'm not asking you to drink that. This is Thank two you. Pints of John I'm not. Making you drink that. I'm going to enjoy it. Mm. I will. I really will <laughs> enjoy it. Swallow. <laughs> Don't you spit that on me. Oh. <coughs> that will heat, heat, up, heat up your cockles. Tell you what that will do. It will stop you smoking. She can't have a cigarette for two days after having any of that. <laughs> Thank you so much for making me drink that before my big journey. Ugh. Luckily, in Cyprus, I think I'm going to get normal beer. Maybe not John Smith's, maybe. But I think IPAs, I might be able to get the odd one. Oh. Well done, babe. Just as it started to rain as well. Yeah, and it's stopped now. That's, oh, that's the end of my day. I've nowhere it. to sit. I've put the chairs away because it was raining. There's nowhere to sit in here either. <laughs> I can't believe you're going to make me lay in bed and just watch football. No, you've got lots of editing to do first. Right, so do you want to wrap this one up? It's probably a bit shorter than our usual ones, isn't it? But tomorrow is a new day and a new trip. Big what? adventure. It's going to be fantastic this time. Yeah, yeah. I just feel it in my bones. I just think where we're going in Cyprus has got a lot to offer for vloggers. So much to do and stuff. You know, rather than just an all-inclusive, it's just where you are staying. Yeah. And a little town next to you. This is like a, a city on his doorstep. Well, we've got to get to Birmingham first and oh, yeah, experience that's even Birmingham. Better. That's going to be a city <laughs> on his doorstep. Right, five do, you want, days. do you want to say goodbye to everyone and we'll see him tomorrow when we start our new travels. Uh, goodbye to everybody and we'll see you tomorrow when we start our new travels. Bye. Ow! Did I get them? No.